Hey, welcome back to the channel. This video I wanted to go over peer-to-peer -peer lending and a platform I use called Lending Club. Um, so basically peer-to-peer -peer lending is um, here on Investopedia. Um, it's basically a way to um, debt finance uh, that enables individuals to borrow and lend money without the use of an official financial institution, um, essentially as the middleman. So what you're doing is say I have a thousand dollars and you know someone out there needs a thousand dollars so I, I offer my thousand dollars to that person as a loan and then they pay me back just like they would with a bank and instead of the bank getting the interest I get the interest and then the uh, the platform which is lending club here that I use um, they'll take a small fee from that so what it's doing is you're basically just eliminating the middleman which is uh, the, the bank and or the financial institutes, and um, it's it's a it's it's an awesome way. I mean, even for a lender and a borrower. So even if you needed to, if you needed a, a smaller loan, like under fifty k, you could go on like Lending Club or Prosper, and there's a couple other ones out there, and uh, get a low interest rate and. Um, essentially borrow other people's money and not, and not be dealing with the bank. Um, and if you're an investor, it's a great way to, you know, if you have some extra money, you can lend that out um, to those that, that, that need it and uh, you collect the interest instead of the bank collecting the interest. So that's basically what peer-to-peer -peer lending is. Like I said, um, Lending Club, there's Prosper, there's a bunch of other ones out there too. I, I uh, been using uh, Lending Club, and I think it's one of the better ones, and it's been around for uh, probably the longest uh, of time. Even though peer-to-peer -peer lending is fairly new, probably within the maybe, within maybe what five, ten years or so. Um, but I'm I'm pretty uh, I, I like Lending Club so far uh, the most. So I'll, I'll quickly get into Lending Club and kind of what it is and and how it works and how you get um, you guys can set it up if you wanted to so this is basically their website um, you know they say you know four six percent returns every year you can get monthly income whether you want to reinvest that or cash it out that's up to you um, and it's you know lower risk too um, and you can you know they show you how investing works open an account pick strategy from the account but I'll, I'll show you how this how this all works here so this is my lending club account so I had this for uh, I think I think I started in January um, January of this year um, and it's what October or it's actually November um, right now so I had it for a little less than 11 months so what I did was I put in um, I think about $7,500 um, to start with. So let's see if I go into, uh, let's see, holdings. Yeah, so I put in about $7,500 to start with back in January. And my balance right now is at about $8,200, a little bit. Um, a little bit more but actually they have some past due notes here so they, they're subtracting that so how this all works is um, I'll put the link down in the video description to sign up it's free um, you sign up and um, you know you say you, you want to be a uh, investor and then they'll you know ask how much money you would like to invest and that sort of thing and then what they'll do is they'll give you options um, to an options for the loans so what I would recommend, you can see here I have 454 loans. So they're all very, very small. They're like $20, $40. Um, so I'm not taking that $7,500 and lending it to one individual or one you know, married couple. Um, I'm breaking that $7,500 up into mini loans, like $20, $40, that sort of thing, just to lower my risk. So if for some reason, you know, that individual, um, you know, goes bankrupt or, you know, they pass away or, you know, something like that, um, I don't have to worry about losing, you know, all of my $7,500 um, because, it, because, you know, it's me lending my money. So, you know, I, I want to not be very risky with it, uh, especially when it comes to other people. Um, taking these loans because you know I don't know who they are, what they're doing, that sort of thing. So if I go to my notes here, it kind of gives you a breakdown. So I bought four. I should have said I should say I loaned 454 uh, mini loans, and you can see 361 are issued. That means 
361 little loans are out there and, and you know with with people um, and uh, you know they're paying it back monthly um, and in grace period fully paid so that means I've out of those 454 many loans I got 53 paid back so far and here's um, here's kind of the kicker on this uh, you know just like anything you know, people are going to be late uh, right I mean they're not necessarily they're not trustworthy but you know they life gets in the way and they miss payments or you know they default or you know you're gonna have that so I went a little risky uh, with this account as I tend to, tend to do um, but you can see seven of my mini loans are uh, upwards of a month already late so that means they haven't paid me back that you know whatever amount it is per month and then you can see here 15 of those are you know what three four months uh, late already and then one actually defaulted so one um, and, and this is another reason why you want to issue those small like twenty forty dollar loans because you're gonna have this you're gonna have uh, late payments you're gonna have people that just stop paying the loan they're gonna default um, charge off so you know you know so it's it's, it's pretty risky um, so how this let me show you how to set this up so what you can do is you know once you add your funds into your account you can do more of an automated investing or you can actually pick and browse specific loans that you want to pay so this is kinda of cool so these are all individuals that need loans so if I sort it by uh, you can you can see there you know obviously you can't see their names um, so it's it's masked uh, but you can see their FICO, sto FICO score how much they want the purpose like this person has um, you know 670 credit score they want eight grand to consolidate probably for a credit card payoff right so I mean you can put a huge chunk in here if you want um, I mean you can fund that whole eight grand or you could do what I've been doing and putting doing little loans like twenty dollars forty dollars and then just picking you know random um, random loans here you know twenty dollars here twenty dollars there you know sorted by their FICO score you know those with a higher FICO score are more likely to pay it back or not be late um, and also they have a rating here too like A, B, C, D, E um, and what that means is you know obviously the A's are the most trustworthy um, and you know the, the D's are less trustworthy but you get a higher percentage rate so this person although they have a decent FICO score um, they may have some uh, marks on their credit that you know gives them the D category so you'll actually get a, a higher uh, rate if you go with these if with, with this loan you get up you know upwards of 20 percent but you have a greater possibility of them you know being late a month or two or just completely defaulting altogether so like I said I would recommend um, doing you know a bunch of multiple little loans twenty forty dollars and you know sorting it either by the FICO scores or by these ratings and do a good mix to um, you know A B C D um, obviously you want less even though you're gonna get a higher return with these D's um, like like I showed on the uh, on the home page there folks have already defaulted um, or they're late and so you, you want to minimize that risk as much as possible so again this is manual investing and there's also they have this automated investing too um, so what you do is you basically just kind of pick an allocation um, um, you know the higher risk lower risk obviously with a higher risk you're going to get a higher percentage rate lower risk you're going to get a lower percentage rate so you know depending on um, you know how risky you want to be you know feel free to you know select any one of these like I said I'm more probably in this range the E F and G's I'm just because I'm a, I tend to be a little bit more risky but you know I, I don't advise that I mean if you if you're close to retirement or um, you don't have that much money to lose um, I would be more conservative you know and stick with the A B A B and C's so again you can um, just select any one of these and they kind of do it for you or if you want to you can come in here and do your own manual investing um, putting in you know smaller little loans or I mean if you want to do one eight thousand dollar loan you know put in eight thousand dollars there and you know that's all you but I wouldn't recommend it it's, it's a little risky 
um, because if you know they default, you're you're out your money. Whereas you know when you put twenty here and they default, you're out you know twenty dollars. So, but anyways, this is um, Lending Club. It's I it's, I'm getting decent returns. I mean five percent I guess is decent, but I'm not reinvesting into this platform. Um, I was initially, but you can see I'm actually starting to get some money out now. And what I'm going to do is actually invest this into uh, cryptocurrencies instead, like Bitcoin um, and the BitConnect uh, lending platform, just because I'm getting way, way better returns. Um, you know, triple, quadruple um, of what I'm getting here. Um, and I have other videos. If you check out uh, the other videos on the channel here. I go over Bitcoin and BitConnect and, and all that, but they're by far my favorite investment right now. I'm not saying you know they're uh, the most stable because they're probably not, but I would say in the next year or two, you're going to get the best returns with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, especially that BitConnect platform, than you will with anything. Um, but once you know the government steps in or you know uh, something globally happens, you know that that could put a hinder on cryptocurrencies. Um, but I, in the meantime, um, I'm going to pull my money out of here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the initial investment in. I'm just going to take my my um, my earnings, my interest earnings, and stick that back into uh, Bitcoin and BitConnect just because of, I'm making awesome returns on that um, compared to this. This is only 5%. I'm making, you know, what, like 40% um, on BitConnect depending on the day. So if anyone has any questions on peer-to-peer -peer lending or lending club or Bitcoin, or BitConnect or cryptocurrency, anything like that, uh, feel free to reach out, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer all the comments I can. And I'm making all these videos like for friends and family and anyone else that um, is interested in, in uh, you know, financial platforms and Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff. So instead of me uh, constantly answering people's questions, I just started a, a YouTube channel and I'm going to, you know, post at least once a week, if not more, um, on, you know, investing um, in, you know, uh, lending platforms, cryptocurrencies, that sort of thing. So, all right, until next time, take care.